Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is David Clayson. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video here. Um, it's been a very busy few weeks, even a couple months here. Uh, you know, for us, our ministries, the way it works at our church is we, we take a break here by the time summer comes because people are always doing stuff during the summer. So it's easier just to end those ministries for the summer and pick them back up in the fall. But because of that, we were planning for a lot of end of the year ministries, uh, end of the year events for those ministries like men's group, kids club, and youth group. And then on top of that, um, I was also coaching for our school, local school in town. And so we had track going since March, and there's a lot of practices and a couple meets. Um, but that just got done a couple days ago as well. And then on top of that, um, for the first time since we've been here in this community, at this church, we've been here for like seven, eight years, um, our town flooded. Um, and it wasn't... It wasn't like the house, all the houses in town, they did pretty well not flooding themselves. We do have a river that's south of our town. Um, but we are on the low end of town, and since we had a high water table, our basement flooded as well. And that's why I'm not uh, in my office right now, because my office is, or studio, whatever you want to call it, it's in the basement. And so, um, you know, two or three times a day, it's been past few weeks now, uh, we've been going down there and cleaning up water. Um, so that was added on top of that. And because of all these things, it's been hard to get a video out. But uh, during this time, two weeks ago, I went through our ordination service. And I got ordained through the Assemblies of God through the North Dakota District. And I just want to take this video and talk about that here. Um, so yeah, so again, it was a busy time. So two weeks ago, they had the ceremony on a Thursday evening. Uh, because of track, we went there the day of that Thursday, Skip, we canceled practice that day, and then we left the very next morning uh, to head back for track practice, and I kind of regret that. I, I should have stayed a little bit longer just to catch up with some other ministers and things like that. Um, but, you know, they had the ordination service that evening. I'll post a link in the description so you can watch it yourself. It's a pretty uh, long service. Um, now, there's a lot of candidates that were either certified, licensed, or ordained. Uh, one of the biggest, if you want to call them classes, I guess, uh, in a while that we've had for our district in North Dakota, which is good. It's a good thing. Um, but it's, if I remember right, the timestamp was over two hours for that video there, and you can see it for yourself. Um, but yeah, so the, the evening started out uh, with worship. They had, a, I think, the evangel team. We, the ceremony was ha held at Evangel, which is the biggest Assembly of God church in North Dakota. Uh, when it comes to attendance, um, but the ceremony was held there, and their worship team led us in worship, and then they introduced our general secretary here, I'm going to hide my account number, but look, just to see that it's official, ordained, but anyways, our general secretary spoke, and her name was Donna Barrett, um, and she was the one that's in charge of all of the, uh, uh, from all over the nation, because they're in Springfield, but all over the nation, all the applications coming in, She's the one in charge of, of, of overseeing it all and making sure uh, that the ones that shouldn't be ordained, certified, or licensed don't get through the net and, and so forth and so on. So she's the one that was basically the one that approved the applications or the recommendations from each of the district in the nation to, uh, get, to have someone be certified, licensed, or ordained. Uh, but she was there for our ordination service and other people's licensing and, and certification service, which was all held together, and she did a little message there, um, and I was talking about what, I think, I think she was, she was talking, well, she was talking to anybody there that was getting certified, licensed, or ordained, but talking about the five things, if I remember right, uh, that ministers need to remember to do, or something like that. Anyway, so she, she did that message, and then our superintendent came up um, and started speaking, and, and we went right through the service. So you got certified, went first, and if I remember the numbers correctly. We had about four or five people be certified um, and certification. So you have the levels, again, the way it works in Assemblies of God is you have certification, you have license, and you have ordained. Um, certification, and I can't remember exactly what all the levels were. I know when I, when I first started and I got licensed uh, in 2015 there, um, I, I I went I got a bachelor's degree in pastoral ministry, and then applied for licensing. And I think it's similar. If you want to go for licensing, you have to have a similar level of education there. In that way, I think certification might be an associate's level for studying there. 
Um, and then ordination, you don't need to get like a master's or anything like that, but you do, for ordination in the Assemblies of God, you do need to be in ministry for two years, proven ministry, they say, for two years, and then recommended by your fellow ministers. Um, anyway, so there was, for, for certification, we had four or five. And then the big class uh, was the licensing. Um, the people there who um, are looking, you know, certification is mainly for those that are going into part-time ministry, uh, and wanting some recognition there, maybe the church will ask them to do that. Licensing is for those that tend to look at, looking for a more full time or uh, you know may have their main focus be ministry. And there was a big group. I can't even. Um, I mean, you can see it in the video here. I have the video playing over this, but that's probably thirty. Maybe 40. Uh, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell because if a couple is married, the spouse comes up as well, but that doesn't mean that the spouse is getting licensed. But it was a big class. Um, and so what happens is they run through all the names there and they give them their certificates, uh, certification. I'm not sure if you got a gift from the district or not. License, you got a towel uh, with the AG logo on it, plus a mug as a gift from the district. Um, which is cool. I got that too when I was licensed and I have when I was installed in our current church They gave us a shepherd staff and I have that hanging up in my office with a towel right So the shepherd staff and I have the towel hanging right down in the middle uh, I don't know just I guess for me just kind of a reminder every time I walk in to remember what I'm doing because I think the shepherd staff You know you're leading you're leading people spiritually, but then the towel I think back to uh, Jesus washing his disciples' feet that we're supposed to serve as we lead as well. So it's just a reminder for me every time I walk into the office. But they gave us a towel for licensing. And then they went through all the names, and that was the largest, uh, largest section there because there were so many of them. Um, and then they called up the ordination candidates, and that was, I think there was f two, four, five, six or seven ordination can candidates, those that were getting ordained. Um, and the way that they did that, this, this was two weeks ago, so I have to try to remember this here again. Uh, you'll be seeing footage here, but um, they gave the charge to the ordination candidates. Um, they, they had the presbyters, which are the district leadership, so you have the superintendent, and then you have the executive presbyters, and then you have the sectional presbyters, um, it's kind of how it's broken down and then the presbyters come up and stand in front of each one of the ordination candidates prayed over them uh, individually and then they gave us sash sashes 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 um, that we didn't get to keep it was kind of disappointing those are they're pretty cool sausage sausage sa sashes I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that but sashes sa Anyways, we're just moving on here. Anyways, we didn't get to keep them, um, but you 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 did the white side up, and then they turned it over to the gold side uh, with the AG logo after the ordination, signifying, okay, you are now ordained. And then they went around um, beforehand. They had asked us what uh, uh, what Bible translation and color Bible do you want, and they gave it to us that day with our name on it um, and a mug and a certificate, so that was a gift from the district to the ordained candidates. And then after that, everybody, all the licensed, certified, and, and ordained candidates uh, came back up to the front, and there was kind of like a greeting line where the service ended, and those from that were sitting in watching the, the ceremony could come up and congratulate the candidates. And, um, yeah, just congratulate the candidates. And afterwards, there was uh, some... They had food out in the lobby foyer area, and that was just a bunch of fellowship going on, catching up, talking with everybody there. Um, and that was the ordination ceremony. So now I am ordained. Um, and we're getting to 9.30 here. How, how do I feel about that? I, I joked, so that was on a Thursday. The following Sunday, I said my preaching is going to be 10 times better now because I'm ordained. Uh, and and uh, I don't... You know, I, I joked in that way, and I think, honestly, I don't feel too much different other than 
feeling like now I have more responsibility than I did just as a, a licensed, uh, uh, someone who was licensed in the Assemblies of God. And I feel like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I think, I think one of the things there is that, again, if you've seen in the video, the long line for the those that were licensed and then the short line of those that were ordained. Again, ordination, two years in proven ministry, recommended by your fellow ministers, and then going through the interview process. But it's almost, well, I know, how do I explain this? I know, like I already knew because where I've been in my ministry and being here more than just a couple years already that people were kind of looking to me. You know, I'd get calls with questions and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy because I, in my mind, I'm 30, I'm 30 right now, but I, I still feel like a kid. Um, but anyways, they're, they can't, they call me, ask questions and stuff like that. So I knew already that I had people kind of looking up to me. But now I feel even like more of a responsibility to those who are just sitting, starting out in ministry or, um, you know, or just taking a church or something like that. Um, and also even more of a stand, like the standard for my actions, for the things that I do are raised as well, being ordained. Um, and so I don't, it's kind of, it's, it's hard to explain in that manner. Um, I think I think I did the best I could in explaining it there. I just feel more responsibility, I guess, being ordained. But other than that, you know, my my level of preaching didn't increase twenty percent, or my my pastoral skills didn't increase twenty percent because I'm uh, I'm ordained now. But uh, but yeah, I am ordained, and so I'm ordained in assemblies of God. And again, I think the main thing for it is just that your ministry is being recognized by other people who are also called into the ministry as well. Uh, which is a good thing, you know, it keeps us accountable for each other. Um, but yeah, I'm ordained in the Assemblies of God. So now, you know, there isn't a next level of of, of credentials. This is the top of it. Um, I can now be elected for, for, for sectional, so we have our district, and then the district's broken up into sections. For sectional leadership, I don't think, uh, again, I don't, that's not the reason I got ordained. Nor would I, I'd probably, um, what is the word, I'm take my name, refuse the nomination or whatever if someone were to nominate me for a sec sectional leadership um, because, I don't know, I'm just not, I'm not feeling called to that right now. I'm still focusing on where I'm at on this church here, but, but anyways, I'm ordained. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, it was good seeing you guys again. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, again, summer's here, so I should be able to upload a little bit more here. Um, the part one and part two of this video uh, are down in the description as well, along with the service, the link to the service there. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to end it here. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll be back in my office for the next video, but we'll see here. The water is starting to slow down, but um, it's still there. Uh, but hopefully I'll be back in my office, and with that all said, I don't know what else to say. So I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.